welcome back my beauty squad how you been if you're new it's your girl jessica make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that corner or that one and as you got that bell turned on that way you get notified for any and every video I upload because your girl uploads daily plus i go live every sunday tuesday and thursday 8 30 p.m eastern time and we have loads of fun there like we chit chat play with makeup talk about the baby bump bump and updates on anything and everything else going on and i was always as always i love sharing and helping other creators along in this journey or if you're thinking about making a channel it's an awesome community to join because not just myself is there we have so many awesome community we have so many awesome creators in the community that join my lives and we all give each other pointers we try to help each other you know learn how to make thumbnails anything and everything you might need to know about making a youtube channel we help everybody out that we can so today we are doing a normal video that i usually do i do a lot of collabs on my, my channel but this is very different video i have to do a full face using paint brushes i started taking them out and uh, i didn't finish but yeah, I got this at Walmart for like $6. But these are all the paint brushes I got to choose from and play with. And I still don't think I can make magic work. But, you know, hey, I can attempt it. Maybe I can blend out my foundation with this. I don't know. If you... you I know y'all may be looking at this and be like, oh, well, that's going to be easy. No, it's not. This is a paintbrush. It is very stiff and dense. This is an eyeshadow brush. Very soft and blendable. This is not going to blend nothing out really good. And then plus for the face, like to blend out eye um, foundation, I mean not foundation, blush, contour, bronzer, highlighter, like, you need a fluffy brush for a lot of those. We don't have a fluffy brush. Like, this is rough. This is, I don't think I'm going to use that one. <laughs> Look at this one. Hey, we're going to paint it on. So, I found the, fa like, the most perfect palette for this. And y'all probably already know if y'all have seen any of my videos. I know I just got this palette. The paint palette. <laughs> so I figured it um this thing. I have not had a chance to review this palette yet. So this is the first time me using it. But I'm not gonna go off of how it works with this collab. Most definitely I will be making another video on it. And it comes with a brush, guys. But I'm not gonna use this brush because that would be cheating. But that's the angle brush that this comes with. That is really pretty and unique. Very good to blend right in there because it has that little angle. Also, you won't get new brushes for sure. But um, let me show you what the Glam Light palette looks like. Now, when I got it, the this eyeshadow right there did come a little broken, so I just pressed it in. It's a shimmer. It should be okay. Like, I don't want to hold it up too much and have it fall out. Because this was a gift from one of my besties, Saria. And I don't want nothing to happen to this palette. By no means. I'm going to try to make something simple because I don't want to study on the look itself. So I'm just, I'm just grabbing it because it's the perfect palette. It's a paint palette and I'm doing paint brushes, so why not? Also, before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to Renee. Thank you for mu so much for doing this. Like, you're just the best. It's a, it's a lot of work to put um, to be putting a lot of channels together and linking them together so you have a playlist and you have something to put in your description box. So, by all means, thank you. I always try to give a shout out to whoever is doing that because it's not the easiest job, I'm telling you guys. I've never done it myself, but I talk to Renee daily. So, I, I know what she has to go through and stuff. So. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna go in with a little flat brush like this. Why is it powdery? Yo. Y'all yeah, pray that I don't break out. I have really, really hypersensitive skin. And I'm not sure what that powder was on this brush. And I did go ahead and do my eyebrows just because there's no way of doing it with a paintbrush. And I mean, you don't need to sit there and wait for me to do my eyebrows if I'm not going to be using a paintbrush. Y'all know most of my videos are long. And I was trying to save time, especially when I'm doing a collab because there's so many other awesome videos you should be watching. So I try not to take up too much time. Um, I did go ahead and prep my skin. So all I got to do is the foundation. But I want to do the eyeshadow first. Give my skin a little time to set. Like I said, I'm just going to do a really quick fun look. I'm going to use the most blendable brush in the set. <laughs> this right here. And it is very wonky. like. But I want to go in with... Let's go in with burgundy. I feel like a painter using this board because of the way I'm holding it. This brush actually works pretty good to blend out, but because it's like a fluffy brush and Glam Light is very good brand, so that helps a lot. This is my first Glam Light palette myself, so I mean, you know, this is I can't say it's the best formula, but I've heard nothing but good stuff from Glam Light. I want to get a couple more palettes from them, like their cheeseburger palette, or their pizza palette, their birthday cake palette. I know they're coming out with like a donut palette. That would be fun to get. Okay, so keeping up with this brush, I'm going to go in with that purple. Just to deepen up this look right here. And then we're going to throw a shimmer down and I'm going to be done. And then I have to go back and do it underneath the eye later. Actually, I want to dip into that navy blue just a tad with that purple. terrible blending skills but I'm trying guys I'm trying it's so big and wonky and it's not the best ever oh I got another little blending one okay so I'm gonna try this one see if I can get some of that purple where I want it and then just bring it into the crease just for some dimension. And y'all know that little wrinkle in my eye. It's a pain in my butt. Alright, uh, that worked out a little bit better. Not too shabby. And I'm just going to use a very small flat brush like this for my shimmer. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use that little turquoise right there. Ooh, look how pretty. But I'll tell you a very simple look. I always come up like with the most colorful ones. Sorry. <laughs> I remember be like, okay, you say simple. I be thinking like brown and white. No, just the simple is bright and bold. I really like that white too. That white is going to go into my inner corner and brow bone in a second. 
please make sure you go and check out everyone that's doing this collab. I will have them all listed out below, of course. Show love to everyone. Because I know everybody worked really hard on this. We always put our all in our videos. Whether they be fun or educational. I'm glad I got a big pack. And I'm just praying and hoping that Keela gets hers to top. Because I sent Keela a set just so she could do this collab. I don't want nobody to be left out. Brushes won't that much. And Keela is such a sweetheart to me. She just sent me a goodie box and all. That's the least I could do. Okay. That's stuff for right now. Do I like it? Is it the best work ever? No. Go to you. It's a lot worse in person. Just say it. Just say it. Let's work on the foundation. Pray for me. I'm going with my Believe Beauty Foundation. Just because I know it's a really good foundation. So if I have any luck with it, it'll probably be this one. Or my back. But I don't really want to waste my back. Oh my goodness. If y'all know me, y'all know I don't put foundation on with a brush anyways. <laughs> and I think I put way too much on. Just because I'm so used to using a sponge. <laughs> blended and blended and blended. Wow. Okay, so I see why most of y'all use brush for foundation. Other than all the streakiness, because this is a paintbrush, of course. Ooh, I winked it out. Sorry if you hear my kids. It does cover pretty much everything I need it to. Though. Like, if I stay far, far back, oops, but it's really streaky AF. Very streaky. Like I said, I'm not used to doing it with a brush, period. I'm pretty sure the ones that do a brush daily will have a little bit more look than I will. That's just not... I haven't found the right brush for me, I guess. To where I like doing it with a brush. I just prefer the sponge. I think it's you save a step. Because even with a brush, you kind of got to go in with a sponge to tap certain areas down. So I was like, wow. Which I get the whole point of like saving foundation and stuff. But still, it's like, that's just too many steps for me. Let's see if I can like, buff it out a little bit. <laughs> this is very rough on my skin, guys. <sighs> and this is not a obsession for a sponge by no means. <laughs> Looks blended.
Let's, let's, let's see how this works out. I'm going to use a little flatter wood. And just try my hardest to blend it out. I'm not going to use that little black brush anymore. No, oh, I still whatever. I like cashews. Tell y'all, this looks a lot better on camera than it does in person. I promise. I'm gonna have to grab some foundation just because it's so dry. It. Like the brush has no lead way to blend out anything. And like I've told y'all before, all you need is a little bit of foundation to put in it. Makes everything a little bit smoother. Instead of trying to struggle with blend it all out and have streaks. She don't want streaks. Even if you don't want a challenge, you don't want streaks. Terrible. Okay, move it on. Try this with a powder. I keep hearing something in my closet, sorry. If I look distracted, hold my foot itches. <laughs> Usually my seven year old, she would go in my closet to read and stuff and just like get away from everybody. But I thought she went in there, so that's why it kind of throw me off just a little bit. Because I'm like, you know, is she in there? Is she not? I hope she's in there because I'm sure listening, I'm sure hear some noises. Sophia! Sophia! She's not in there, guys. I'm probably sure y'all hear that. She's out of my closet. She's in there? Okay, never mind. Okay, that's really creepy. I'm pretty sure y'all can hear it in the background too, right? It's like, shh, shh, shh. And I don't have no animals in my room. None that's allowed in here anyways. So that's really scary. Alright, my cat is outside. She stays outside the majority of the time. Because we got her, she was basically a stray when we moved here, and so she kind of took up with us because me, my mom, and Mario were all animal people. So she took up with us pretty quickly, and she'll come in and just go out. My son just said she was in there, so I kind of worried me. What's in my closet? I'll go ahead and take this part off. Try to make sure it's all blended out. 
Y'all see how patchy this is? Like, y'all see this, right? I've tried, like, I've tried. Let's go ahead and do the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter. Get this thing over with. Because I'm going to use this brush again for my bronzer. I was watching a tutorial today, and the girl was doing that. <laughs> like, that just made it worse. I like the way I do it. Because I literally just put just a little about down there to where I don't like I have two key lips. Because you put too much, and then it's like you got brown around your lips. Why you got brown around your lips? Okay, so this is what's going to be unique. Let me try to, I'm going to try to use this brush again for my blush because it's like the only blendable brush I have. And I'm just using my favorite palette, the Becca. Just using everything in here just to save time instead of open up, or, you know, different ones. But y'all you know, I love everything in here, but it ain't my favorite of all times. So. But I'll use it. I'm going to go ahead and put my highlighter on too. And I'm kind of glad, well, I mean... It's not like I'm going to be wasting my paint brushes. Y'all know my daughter paints. But you can't see my pictures right now. But she paints. And so I'm just going to have give these to her. Just have them clean them. Like I probably wouldn't have done it if I couldn't reuse them. Sorry for the kids. contour oh and yeah I'm not setting this down I don't want this to stay <laughs> I'm taking it right back off right after I get done I'm going in with burgundy with that little smaller brush it's just like the big brush that I used This is my first face, but my, my, my full face. <laughs> I'm not gonna put my mascara on or eyeliner just because it's pointless. You can't do it with a brush. Well, we we'll probably do the eyeliner with a brush, but then we we'll probably be here another ten years because I don't really do eyeliner like that. I do an inner corner. I'm not putting these smiles. That is not sanitary. But. Down below, please let me know how you think I did. Was it okay? Not okay? Terrible? Just terrible? Or, let me know. Y'all decide. And y'all, I know, I know what some of y'all are going to say. Y'all going to be like, oh, well, just because you're being harsh on yourself, it's not that bad. But guys, it is that bad. It's, it's that bad. I scare myself when I look in a mirror. Oh, it is just horrible. 
I look like a blotchy brown nosed ghost that attempted to I shot her for the first time in her life. <laughs> A little bit here is bad. Hold on. Look. Do y'all see that now? Paint brushes is not to make to do foundation or any makeup. With it. Bad. Okay. Make sure you go and check out everybody else's. I can't wait to see theirs to see because I'm pretty sure some of them did better than I did. I know they did. I know they did. They're not going to tell me they did, but I will see that they did. You know what I mean? Because there is just so, so many talented, amazing people on this platform. And you'd be surprised what some of them could do <laughs> with the littlest stuff. I'm not that skilled. I'm still learning, guys. Like, I'm self MUA. Stuff out. Everything I know, I learned on my own by watching others. And I'm still learning. Which I think everybody can learn constantly. Like, there's no stopping point to learn it. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all so much for your support. It means the world to me. And have a great night. Love you. It's what they talk about. What they talk about.